gift ideas that keep giving and really show you care. Gym, yoga, fitness memberships, books and subscriptions to healthy lifestyles, healthy diets, fitness programs, yoga and meditation classes, and video courses to solve bad habits, addictions, smoking, sleep, and weight issues too. I'm 10 years old. It's Christmas. My mom gives me a subscription to the Book of the Month Club. I'm so disappointed. I wanted a handheld Mattel football video game and she gave me a nerdy library delivery service. What the f Well, mom knew best. I was an avid reader at the age of four and my trips to the library were frequent. With this new gift, every month I was getting something new delivered to me. I got to browse the catalog and make my selections, which made it Christmas every month. I maintained a Book of the Month subscription for most of my adult life. I was reading Steinbeck, Bradbury, and Tolkien to dilute the boring reading they assigned me in school. Now, I'm not suggesting you give your loved one a Book of the Month Club subscription. If they like books, you should consider it. But if they're into video games, like my son, then give them a video game subscription like Gamefly. If they're into movies, then a subscription to Netflix or Amazon Prime or Hulu. But if you really love them, you'll give them a gift that keeps on giving. You'll give them a gift that expands their minds and character. How about a gift that contributes to living better? being smarter, healthier, more successful, more fulfilled. The point here is not to just give a gift that once it's opened, it loses its luster within a few days, but to give a gift that keeps on giving. A gym membership is the obvious example of a health-oriented gift that keeps giving. A cookbook or subscription to an online cooking site like cooksmarts.com. But let's think outside the box of chocolates for a second. We all have bad habits and we all have addictions. To quote from my award-winning book, Project Addiction, The Complete Guide to Using, Abusing, and Recovering from Drugs and Behaviors. We are all addicts. We are all slaves to desires, needs, and hopes for a happy existence. We are all searching for ultimate peace and pleasure, thereby making us all addicts, varying only in degree and in expression. Addiction issues affect millions of healthy, stable people, and sleep disorders do too. And food issues, um, that's just about everybody. So what I'm suggesting is to give the gift of control, the gift of behavioral management, the gift of sobriety. Sober does not literally mean to be abstinent from intoxicants. The definition of sober means to be serious and sensible, not abstinent. Go ahead, look it up. A sober person is sensible. Many people can and do drink and get high while remaining sober people. Hell, I drink. Yep, I'm an ex 25 years, shoot 'em up dope fiend, and I drink in moderation. Usually about once a week, I enjoy and indulge in a few imported lagers while watching a ball game or a dinner with a friend. It does not compromise my actual sobriety. I remain serious and sensible. I don't drink to excess. I don't compromise responsibilities. I don't become toxic or abusive. I am sober even after a few beers. Now, with drugs like cocaine, methamphetamine, or heroin, that's a different story. I can't do those in moderation. No one can but a few beers don't compromise my sobriety. I'm productive and accomplished. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm a drug addict. I can gamble too. I just can't do drugs. And by the way, many non-addicts are not sober. Many non-addicts are totally unreasonable. Many drug-free people aren't sober, i.e. sensible and mature at all. Sobriety is about managing your behaviors. Sensible is about not being excessive in food, drugs, or any other behavior. If you could buy sobriety, i.e. sensibility, would you? If you could give a loved one who struggles with addictive behaviors or bad habits the gift of managing and controlling themselves to live soberly, i.e. sensible and within moderation, would you? If you could receive the gift of habit control or addiction solution, would you like that? If you could give a friend or family member the gift of becoming an addiction or bad habit recovery supporter, would you? You can. Same as a gym membership, same as a book of the month club subscription, same as a weight loss program, you can give someone the tools and strategies to create and sustain sobriety and to solve bad habits. Self-control is not a miracle. Healthy lifestyles are not genetic. Sobriety is not magic. Like getting in shape, it's a process. To get in shape, you go to the gym. You go there to use the equipment they have to exercise with. You go there to get motivation in the spin class, instruction in the yoga pilates class, and coaching and weight training. By using these tools, you get in shape. You pay your monthly subscription dues and then get your ass over there and do the best you can by using what they provide you to be fit. See, not magic, not miracles, commitment and effort. Same with sleep training, same with sobriety and bad habit control. You can learn and solve it the same way. 
get the knowledge and apply the strategies, get the equipment, the coaching and the strategies, and over time, results manifest. While the results do indeed vary from person to person, improvement from participation and effort is inevitable. The only way to improve the scenario would be if self-improvement programs guaranteed their results. But they really don't need to, do they? The degree of results may vary from person to person, but absolutely everyone who shows up at the gym and works out regularly definitely improves. This formula holds true for everything. If we have the right equipment and the right leadership, we will improve. We may not know how much smarter someone's going to get by going to college classes, but if they get to class and do the work they're assigned, they will get smarter. But if we have the wrong equipment and leadership, we will fail, no matter how hard we try. <laughs> if your gym has a TV room with a recliner chair and no one qualified to motivate and instruct you, you ain't going to improve. You may get worse. If your school classes have bad books and stupid teachers, then you're not going to get smarter. If your sobriety program fails eight times out of ten, you may need to consider another option. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool addicts and recovery supporters eight times out of ten, shame on them. The addiction recovery empire is a billion dollar cash cow failure eight times out of ten. And medications? Forget about it. The horrifying list of freak show side effects and daily headlines of addiction and suicide pretty much sum it up. The jury is in on that verdict. Medications usually create more problems than they solve. What if the overexploiting, massive debt creating college experience guaranteed quantifying results? What if your local gym or weight loss program came with a guarantee? What if your self-improvement program offered refunds? What if your sobriety program came with one? What if your local rehabs and addiction treatment facilities gave you your money back if it didn't work? Yeah, I can hear you laughing at that impossibility from here. Of course, there are some conditions with guarantees. You've got to actually do the work. You can't sign up at the gym and then couch potato the winner away and get reimbursed for no results. You can't join the diet program and then scarf donuts and holiday cookies and get your money back. You've got to come to class and at least try to complete the assignments to get a college guarantee result. You've got to show up and apply the tools. That's only fair. Same with your sobriety solution. Pick a good one with a high success rate, go to class, do the work and get results or get your money back. Well, guess what? Project Addiction Solution is guaranteed. Do the video course and if it doesn't solve your drug, shopping, gaming, sex, food, addiction, then you get your do re me back. So far, Project Addiction Solution has 100% success. Okay, I admit it's a bit new and only has 134 graduates, but still 100% of them have solved their addictions. And the count of successful graduates from Project Addiction Solution is growing. Before I created the video course, I solved thousands of addictions with a 90% success rate as a private counselor. Recovery empire, 92% failure. Project Addiction Solution, 92% success. The gift of sobriety and habit management is a gift that keeps giving. You can give that solution. You can give that membership to someone you're concerned about or to yourself. Project Addiction isn't just a gift for one person. It's a gift for the whole family. Not only can the addicted bad habit family member do the video course, but the recovery supporters can too. The loved ones being most affected by an addict need to learn how to manage, intervene, and coax their addicted loved one away from a using mentality to a recovery mentality. They need to learn how to support and how not to. And if it doesn't work, you get your money back. Same as with most Christmas gifts. What's the second biggest shopping day of the year? The day after Christmas because of all the returns. You need to know if you bought the wrong size or color, you can get your money back. Any store that wouldn't allow returns would be out of business because no one would trust them. Well, same with sobriety programs. If it ain't returnable or guaranteed, then the manufacturer must not have real confidence in it. What you need for sobriety is a solution, a plan, a strategy. Like a gym or a diet, something that if you show up and apply it, you will get the results. And in a perfect world, the perfect solution comes with a guarantee. Project Addiction Solution can't make it a perfect world, but it can solve addiction guaranteed. Sobriety is not magic or miracles. Sobriety is having a smart and sensible strategy to become smart and sensible. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year coming up. 